What's up everyone? It's your boy Goya V and welcome to my channel. This is a very special episode for me as this is the first episode I'll be uploading to my channel and in this video I want to take you guys on my journey on creating my ideal gaming setup turning this boring empty space into the setup of my dreams behind me. But before we get into this I want to give you guys a little bit of my background on gaming and when I mean a little bit well, there you have it. I don't have much gaming experience. I started gaming back in 2019 playing titles such as Fortnite and Call of Duty and I'll be honest with you guys, I absolutely stunk at the game. But one thing I love about gaming is that it brings me and my family closer together. We'll squad up and go against other teams or we'll just practice one on one with each other. But right now my goal is to turn my boring empty basement into the ultimate gaming room. But first I'm going to start off with this gaming setup and I hope you guys tag along with me. So please like and subscribe down below. and. Let's get the show started, huh? And here I am trying to figure out what I got myself into. First thing I did was locate each stud so I could install this brick wall paneling I purchased from Lowe's. Measuring from wall to outlet, outlet to baseboard so I can make my cut. And right off the bat, here's where things start to get tricky, so I had to call for backup. Luckily, the doggos and my wife came through and helped me install this first panel. The second panel had no problems fitting in place. Unfortunately, this is where my camera died, so I wasn't able to get myself installing the third and final panel. So on this wall here, I'm going to be installing some shelves. Now, I could have went with the floating shelves, but I went with these... uh roth and allen shelves these ones are pretty cool because they have the black brackets i like how it's gonna go with the trim that i'm gonna put and my oak espresso stained board that i'm gonna have as my desktop so let's get these installed and just like that we got these shelves up they were very easy to install it didn't take long for wally and the game to come and occupy the shelves and you know what let's say hi to everybody come on and in the right corner we got my number one fan wally over here just chilling we got Eva diving through space, and we got Baby Wally over here just trying to stay out of harm's way. We got Charizard over here protecting the Pokemon cards with Charmander just chilling. Baby Groot up here just jamming out with his boombox. Stitch just smiling for the camera. Spyro just hanging out. What's a gaming desk without these Alex drawers from Ikea? I also purchased these 4 inch furniture spacers off Amazon, measuring about a quarter inch from each edge. One thing I advise everybody to do is drill their pilot holes so they don't split the wood. And last but not least, let's make sure all our screws are tight just in case we get the urge to slam our desk and rage quit. You guys, I am so excited to share with you guys what just got delivered. Uh, I've been looking forward to this. This is that espresso butcher board that I ordered from Lowe's. Oh, here it is. I can't wait to pull it out. I am so excited about this board. It looks beautiful online, and I hope it looks just as beautiful coming out and on my desktop. Come on, let's open it up, guys. Let's see how... Oh, look, see, I knew this thing would come in handy. I'm going to try not to scratch the butcher board. And here we go. Just as I expected, it is sealed off, probably to keep the moisture in or something. So now I'm too nervous to even open it. I don't want to destroy this board. It's a beautiful board. It's a little darker than I thought, but... Still looks beautiful. Let me put it on the desk. What do you think, Toby? Oh, you guys, check this out. This looks awesome. I can't wait to get the LED strips on this bad boy. This looks absolutely beautiful. Heck, yeah. It looks amazing. Couldn't wait to get this butcher board back on my desktop, so I ran to my closest hardware store, picked up some sealant, and got to work. Okay, guys, so here's the board. I want to show you guys how it looks right out of the box. See how beautiful it is. So look at that, man. Look at the grain and all that. Very beautiful. All right, well, let's get it uh, let's get it sealed up. After watching countless videos on how to apply sealant on a butcher board, I ended up finding out at the end that you want to use a sponge brush. The store recommended me a paintbrush, which I wasn't too happy with. Due to lack of experience, I ended up putting more than I needed, so I had to seal sand, seal sand until I got the coating that I wanted. I tell you guys this because if you're planning to use butcher board, you need to apply a sealant or a mineral oil or your board will start to bow and you'll have problems in the long run. Okay guys, now that I got the desk in and installed and sealed up and everything, I went ahead and applied these lights. So I got these Gobi bar lights and I got these seven panel nano leaf smart kit. What I really love about these lights is that they're music sync which is great for when I'm playing video games and I have my surround sound on. It makes me really feel like I'm in the game or I can switch it up, play some music and next thing you know, it's a party. Okay guys, another thing I purchased on Amazon were these controller mounts for the PlayStation 5 remotes. They also have other options for other controllers, the Xbox, the PlayStation 4s, or even the Nintendo Switch. These are great for my PlayStation 5 remotes. I like that they're black. They match the black that I have on my remotes and the theme that I'm going for. So I'm, I'm just going to install these and let's check it out. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I pre-drilled my holes already. I was going to put the anchors on, but I think this brick wall paneling can hold these. So let's get them installed. All right, let's see how they look. 
Awesome. What do you guys think? Okay, now that we have the desk on, the lights on, and a couple things mounted to the wall, the next thing I'm going to do is put everything on the desk. I'm really big on cable management, but I currently don't have anything to manage my cables, so I'll just be doing the old traditional zip tie and maybe double-sided, I don't know, tape or something, but um, well, let's get this desk loaded up. All right, guys, here's my baby right here. This is the Samsung G7. It's great. I love it. I'm blurry. What the heck? 4K compatible with the 2.1.1. It's not OLED, but it, it gives me the best black. I've tested other monitors such as the LG Ultra Gear, things like that. I just didn't get the black that I wanted, color I wanted, and this Samsung G7 is great. So, all right, let's get it in. Whew. I got a little nervous. I couldn't find the zip ties. I bought a whole bag just for this project and I found them. I got this space gray uh, mount to match the MacBook Pro and it looks clean. Next, the gaming mat. Right. So normally I run on this uh, cheap Staples uh, wireless mouse pad that has actually been great to me the past couple of years, but apparently I've been a good boy and uh, my wife got me the Magic Track Bag by Apple, and uh, we're gonna test it out. So here it is, and wow, that thing looks sleek, right? It looks great, so it'll match the mouse pad, matches what I'm going for. The gaming system. I'm currently rocking the PS5. I do not have a PC, nor do I think in the near future I'll get one. Hopefully, um, we can find that in the budget to get a PC, but currently, Rocking the PS5, baby. PS5. So here's my baby. <laughs> and you know what? I don't know. My wife's just amazing. She actually surprised me with this when they first came out. And she got it for me for Christmas of 2020. It is the end of 2022 right now. And I also purchased these black panels off Amazon. There was a wide variety of uh, different colors. But, you know, I'm going for the black look, y'all. So let's get it in. You guys, if I had time, I would just share with you guys how rotten spoiled I am. My wife just keeps spoiling me. I gotta share with you guys. She got me these uh, Pro X from Logitech. They're great. I got the wired ones. They sound better. They perform better. Didn't read the box. I don't know if they're noise cancellation, but they're so clean that I don't even notice noise around me. You can see the pads right now. I'm rocking the leather. They have the foam pads. I mean, they're both foam, right? But the outside uh, exterior of the pads are foam. And uh, yeah, <laughs> they look and feel great. Huh? What'd you say? Can't hear you. You guys, the wife did it again. I don't know how she does it. She just continues to spoil me, surprise me with some of the best gifts ever. Thank you, babe. I love you oh so much. I wanna share with you guys what she got me. And what I have here is Megatron Beast Wars uh, Transformers poster that I've always wanted. I mean, check this out, guys. Isn't that perfect for my setup? As you can tell, I'm really into purple and that is just freaking awesome guys thanks babe okay guys one other surprise i have for you guys for my gaming setup is uh, i stopped at best buy saw this mini fridge and i wanted it to match my theme right we got a black we got you know some stainless steel glass it looks very classy right and it was actually i think 116 cans it was a small fridge and i still think it was pretty cool but i went online and didn't look at the can count and I accidentally ordered the big one accidentally uh, I ordered the 136 can one and Dude look it's the same height as my desk. It swings open perfectly for when I need a drink and you know It's currently empty, but <laughs> it looks great guys. I love it as you can see behind me guys the shelves that we installed earlier are getting packed pretty fast Big shout out to my sister for giving me this bookshelf. It actually worked out pretty well as the top of the shelf meets with the bottom of the shelves that we installed. We have Squirtle here, we have Charmander, we have Bulbasaur, we have uh, Charizard up top. I had to put the Beast Wars to work and we got the Fast and the Furious Brian O'Connor car. Guys, we're running out of space. We need shelves and we need them fast. So hopefully we can get some in, get some installed in this gaming setup and have it looking sweet. You guys, I am so pumped about how this setup came out. I can't believe I almost went with a light oak theme, but I'm stuck in a basement. So I'm so glad I stuck with this dark theme. I cannot wait to get more shelves. I'm planning on adding some greenery and putting up some more of my collectibles. You guys, please forgive me. I'm not a videographer whatsoever. I'm doing my best to get the best shots I can in this video. And if you've made it this far, please comment down below what your favorite features of this gaming setup and what I can do to improve it. I'm looking for any feedback that can help me turn my boring empty basement into the ultimate game room. 
Well everyone, I have been forced to come to a stopping point when it comes to my gaming setup. I went well over budget, learned a lot from this experience, a lot of do's and don'ts, things I'll take over on the next wall, hopefully turning this boring empty basement into the ultimate gaming room. I hope you guys can grow with me, please and like and subscribe down below and I think it's time to enjoy the setup y'all, so I'm gonna get to gaming. Hey, thanks for watching y'all, peace! Subscribe down below!